Faith comes by hearing the Word of God. tell you a story about a little girl named Lulu. This balloon represents Lulu's faith. So when Lulu was a little girl, just starting primary, she didn't have a lot of faith, but she trusted her parents. Her parents taught her about Jesus. So she had a tiny bit of faith. Then she went to primary, and in primary, they learned a song about Jesus. And her faith grew a little bit more. When she listened to family scripture study every night when her parents read the scriptures and talked about it, her faith grew a little more. The next week, she got to listen to the prophet at general conference. And her faith grew a little bit more. During the week, she had family scripture study the next week, she got to go to primary and she got to read a scripture with her class all about how Jesus loved her. And her faith grew a little more. And she also got to talk to her friends about Jesus. She shared the word of God with them and her faith grew even more as she told them. She also got to spend time um, reading the scriptures on her own as she got older. 
started out just reading picture scriptures with the pictures and the stories. And as she got even older, she started to read the Book of Mormon and the Bible a little bit at a time every night. And her family still read the scriptures together. And her faith continued to grow and grow. And she would hear the words of the prophets. She would go to state conference and hear her leaders there. She would hear people bear testimonies in sacrament meeting. And her faith grew even more. And one day she was brave enough to share her testimony in sacrament meeting. And her faith grew even more. Our faith grows a little by a little as the more we hear the word of God. But if we go for a while without hearing the word of God, our faith starts to dwindle. And if we go for a long time without hearing the word of God, our faith kind of goes away. There's still a little bit there, but it's hard to act on faith that's kind of almost gone. So then we have to go back to reading our scriptures every day and listening to family scriptures and going to church singing songs in primary, bearing your testimony to others. All these things will help you build your faith. Pause the video and talk with your family about what you can change in your life to help you hear the word of God more and build your faith in Jesus Christ. was a great story! Yeah, that really helped prove the point I was trying to make. Well, Paul actually tried to make it first in his letter to the Romans. The more we talk about Jesus, the more we hear about the gospel of Jesus Christ, the more our faith grows. That's right. Thanks for trying to teach Tommy. And thanks for sharing your balloon story. Ha! That was fun! Thanks! See you later!